Going to have another quick little uh, tutorial for you today. And today we're going to go over digital calipers. Now I realize that most of you probably uh, know what they are, you know how to use them, but these are for the folks that don't know what they are or maybe they don't know exactly how to use them or what their uses would be for. Um, I've got two sets here. Got a larger set and a smaller set. I think I picked these up at Home Depot or Lowe's. These I got online. Um, both are essentially the same, just size varies. Uh, the main difference between these two, besides the size, these ones automatically shut off. These have an on and off button. Now, I prefer the on and off button, but if you're forgetful, get the ones that automatically shut off. The thing I don't like about them, these are still on, so, and they will shut off eventually. Um, it's just you're wasting that much more battery on them. I'd rather just shut them off and get it over with because the batteries are, um, you know, you can get the calipers for around $20 or more, depending on these were a little bit more expensive, but uh, batteries are, you know, five bucks each. So, Essentially, they're, they're the same except for length and that one little feature. And you can get small ones that automatically shut off. But anyway, as you can see here, there's not a whole lot of buttons on this thing. Um, you've got an on and off, which that is not on the other set. You've got a little zero button, and then you've got another button, it's millimeter and inch. Now, the zero button is if you get out of calibration, so to speak, or if you need this, you want this setting to start at zero for some odd reason, you hit zero, and now that's your zero button. You start measuring up from there. I don't know if you can see that. So, but uh, typically what you want to do is if it gets out of whack, you go all the way to end, hit zero. Now it's back in the calibration. So that's it for the actual, for that particular button. Um, the other button is millimeter and inch. So you just hit it right now. It's on, uh, it's on millimeter. Then you take it to inch and there you go. And then at the top of each one of them, they're both the same you've got a little set screw. So if you've got something where you want to, uh, you know, 3.3 uh, or 34.32 millimeter and you want to keep it that, you want to make every, you know, say you've got some sticks or something you're measuring, you want every stick at 34 millimeter, then you would just lock it in, it won't move. And then you just size them up, like, boom, boom, you're done. So that's it as far as the tool goes. Um, each one of them do have a manual gauge if for some reason your battery dies um, but you know you get battery operated ones for a reason you don't want to fiddle with reading them and if you don't know how to read them then pretty much you need batteries so other than that the tool that's that's about the gist of it like I said ranging in price from twenty dollars to probably four hundred I don't know they go sky's the limit on these things just like anything um, you might ask you know what what will you need these for well a lot of people use them for bearings. So, and this is the thing that I've seen people that use them, they don't know how to use them correctly. Okay, so you want the outer diameter of a bearing. Well, pretty simple. You've got your two teeth here, and you just simply measure the outer diameter, 46 millimeter. Now, what I'll see a lot of people do is they'll need the inner diameter, and they'll go like this, and they'll try to, you know, just eyeball it. If you notice, and it's on every set of calipers. There's another set of teeth on the outside. That is for your inner dimensions. You just spread it open. See, it actually holds it there. And there you've got your inner dimensions. No reason to actually try to guess on the inside with using these. Um, I've seen, I don't know how many people do that. I don't know why. You see, every set has them. Right there. And that's what those are for. So... Bearings, awesome, you'll need them. Um, if you want to measure a, a, a bolt, you know, you can actually measure it. Uh, I prefer the inners on this. Just get it close, yeah, about 35 millimeter. Or if you want the entire bolt from the head to the tip, you just simply squeeze it in there and measure your bolt. Um, other uses, you know, fuel line. So, or this is brake line. So we'll put it on the inch. Don't know what diameter you got. Simply hold it on there. 1.187. So that um, just about anything, anything you can think of that needs a precise measurement, you can use these for. Um, trying to think of some other good uses. Uh, you could. Yeah, it's not the ideal tool to use, but you could use it for a sleeve uh, on a motor. There are other tools that are much more accurate that you would want to use for a motor if you're really if you're building a motor. You don't want to use this, you know. This will get you approximate on something like that. 
but like the inner dim dimensions of a bearing, what have you, you're going to be good with these. So, um, trying to think, just about anything really. Just kind of wanted to give you a little quick overview. Mainly, I wanted to go over those outer teeth. You know, th those are. Uh, I see so many people use them incorrectly. Um, these just take a little button battery. You just slide off the cover, a little 357 uh, button battery. And that's really about it. Um, not a whole lot to them. You want to make sure you've got, uh, there's a little wheel in there. So you don't want this to get too dry. And you want to actually make sure that you kind of lube it up in here. You see there's some oil. That's from the factory. So just make sure these are kind of smooth. Well, other than that, pretty maintenance free. Take care of them. Don't just throw them in a box. Um, again, I use these for in the garage. These I use for work. So I still have a case for these. These long gone. But anyway, that's it. Uh, please feel free to ask questions, comments, rate, subscribe, and uh, anything else you can think of. So thanks again for watching, and uh, have a great day.